Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I wanted to show you what I received from a viewer. Very generously, by the way. His name is Eduardo Trinidad from Brownsville, Texas. And he was talking to me about metallic type papers. And I said, I don't have a lot of experience with these types of media. So he decided to send me some Moab Slick Rock Metallic Pearl 260 and Metallic Silver 300. And so I did not realize that it was also going to include some prints. So this is really great because now I can actually look to see what the results might be when I decide to use some of this paper. Now, again, metallic papers really are intended to be used with certain subjects that are metallic or at least have some sort of shine, some sort of chrome look to them. Here's a shot of a, basically a military helicopter. Here are the two crew members, beautifully composed. This is great. This is the look. This is the look that you need for this type of media. And I don't know whether you can tell, but this is not a pure white. This is actually has a metallic sort of glow to it. And so that's what these papers look like. Like I said, I don't have a lot of experience with these, but you have to choose the correct subject matter and this is perfect for it so again when you look at it at certain angles i see a little bit of a greenish tint to it i don't know what printer he used i was trying to look you up at eduardo but i couldn't find the email that you actually contacted me with so that i could give you my address but maybe you're using a different name so please let me know because i want to personally thank you so anyway, so that's really a great, great look. Now, I have enough sheets in here that I can probably create a quick profile so I can get a more neutral result with any of the printers that I will probably likely test this media on. But again, thank you so much. The dynamic range is wonderful. Everything from the deepest black all the way to a specular white right here which is not really truly white. It's more like a, a very light gray metallic look to it. So this is what you get now in color. People think, well, does this work well with a color image? Well, apparently so, apparently so. So look at that, beautiful. And again, you're not gonna use this for you know shots of a wedding, of a bride, of a baby. You're gonna use this for certain types of subject matter. Let's go ahead and leave that as is and we'll take a look at this one this is the metallic silver 360 uh single-sided and so let me flip this upside down so that i don't mar it when i put the box on top like so okay now this is a little heavier paper 300 gram the other one was 260 grams and you could tell immediately that it's a little thicker and the the deepness of the base color it's a gray metallic look it looks like aluminum it almost looks like aluminum and so works beautifully for this kind of subject look at that i love it so i'm gonna have a great time playing with these he provided me with enough sheets of paper for me to play with Beautiful shot of a fighter uh, World War II airplane. And again, you have to be careful because remember, you don't have a pure white. This is actually down to almost middle gray. And so it's got a little mar right there. But again, this should be a lot of fun. I have some images that would work beautifully with this. I don't know if you guys remember that shot of a bright blue painted uh, show car big muscle car engine that will look beautiful with this type of paper i will do it almost to the edge and so that's going to be a lot of fun but anyway that is it i had a lot of fun looking at these i showed them to my wife and she thought it was interesting and i have seen a lot of this type of work in public places um, the hospital that i go to the military hospital that i go to has photos all over every single hallway of the whole um, three buildings worth and so often i get to see this type of um, 
rendition. I, it, sometimes it leaves a little bit to be desired, but these are excellent, and I really thank you a lot, Eduardo, and this is going to be a lot of fun for me. If any of you have any kind of stuff like this that you want to share with me, and I will go ahead and create a video for it, maybe give you a little publicity if you do this for a living. That would be awesome for you as well as for me. Uh, feel free to uh, contact me and I'll give you my mailing address. You can send me so, some samples of whatever you're working on because there's so much media out there that needs to be tested. And I've been working so much on testing inks and other non-fun type subjects and projects that I really need to get back at printing images on all sorts of different papers that are available. There's only so much time in the day that you can actually uh, devote to this, but I'm going to try my best. All right, so that is it for now. Thank you so much. In the next video, I'm going to talk about some questions that are just constantly being asked on a daily basis. And I am wondering, what do we have to do to get people to finally understand some of these things that they're asking about? So I will cover that in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and of course, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.